Hello, ninth graders. This is Miss Natalie, your English teacher. I hope you are doing well, safe, and sound. In this tutorial, I will discuss the material included for week number three. So let's start with the first day of this week. Um, on this day, on this lesson, we are going to learn about the paragraph structure, how to construct a well-comprehended paragraph. So you will understand the meaning of paragraph. We're going to explore its components. You're going to apply the right usage of topic, detailed sentences through daily fix it activity. Um, okay, so here you have a PPT on writing a paragraph. It will lead you throughout the exercises or the activities. You have two tutorials. Uh, the first one discusses or explains um, sorry, two tutorials that are combined, uh, which explain the meaning of a paragraph and the, and the three main parts of, the, of a paragraph. Um, the other tutorial explains the meaning on and function of detailed sentence. Uh, it also provides examples and practices for choosing the best detailed sentence for each. Now, as for the interactive activity that we are going to be working on, is that I'm going to be I will provide you with three different topics, food, travel, and music. You will get to choose a topic and construct a paragraph with errors uh, in the topic and detailed sentences and then fix them on your notebooks, of course. Now, for the second day of this week, making it part two of writing, of paragraph writing, um, we are basically going to continue discussing the structure of a paragraph where you're going to construct paragraphs employing correct sentence structure. Um, again, you have the PPT to aid you and you have two different tutorials, one that talks about writing skills in general and the other one discusses or explains the meaning and function of a conclusion sentence and provides example and practices. As for the interactive activity on this day, I will provide you with three with uh, three um, different topics. Uh, you need to choose a minimum of two topics and then write a comprehensive paragraph for each topic on your notebooks. Okay. As for the third day of the uh, of this week, we are going to start with the first writing style. Uh, which is argumentative essays. <clears throat> in, the, in this lesson, you are expected to identify the general layout of an argumentative essay and practice the uses of the three appeals through activities. Here are the essential key terms, PPT that will aid you on argumentative essays, tutorials that explain the meaning of an argumentative essay, and the explanation of the three appeals. We're going to work on this activity um, where you need to click on the images below. Um, they will aid you with the meanings and the different uses of the following rhetorical devices, logos, ethos, and um, pathos. Um, they are, I would say, worksheets, right? And after you work on them, we are going to discuss them together. Okay. As for the last day of this week, you are, we are going to continue working on the argumentative essay. We are going to spend a good time working on this essay. Um, on the second week, making it part two of writing an argumentative essay, you are going to present central thesis statement or viewpoint on a topic and provide reliable and re relevant evidence, facts, and examples to back up your claim. Here are the essential key terms. Again, the PPT um, tutorials. The first one explains how to write an introduction or an argumentative essay. So basically, this lesson is will highlight or highlight, sorry, <coughs> highlight um, the ways in which uh, or the ways we need to follow <coughs> in writing the introduction of an argumentative essay. Here in the interactive activity, I, uh, I provide you with um, 
uh, I would say, the layout of an argumentative essay, the title, introduction, body paragraphs, how many paragraphs, and so on, and what is an introduction, and how to organize your introduction. Okay. So here, you, if you scroll down, you are going to find an attached um, website that provides you with um, samples of thesis statements uh, and topics, of course, argumentative essay topics. So you, need, you get to pick and choose a topic and stick to it and work on it to construct an argumentative essay. Thank you so much for listening and have a nice day.